Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We are Thursday, May 9th, 2024. Let me say three, oh my god. So something to do about last uh, last year. Uh, I'm here to do a collective brief for you guys. Another one yesterday is another one, the thir third. Um, you know I don't use the signs, I don't use the genders, and it's a time of straight, okay? And you can switch the genders and the roles as we go through, okay, just to suit your situation, okay? Just so you know. Remember, it is a general reading. It's not personalized, so you have to use your higher wisdom and discernment with tarot, okay? I'll tell you the what I'm picking up intuitively. I'll give you the interpretation of the card as I go along. It could be all the descriptions, someone and or none, okay? And then we bring it together at the end. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. Join this beautiful soul tribe. I would be truly grateful if you did. Um, thanks for being here. Thanks for all the love and support you show me. I'm truly grateful. I love you guys. Let's see what Spirit has at this hour, shall we, Spirit? What's the message here for the collective? Let's see where we're going. What would you like to talk about at this hour, please? The warrior, number two, high priestess in tarot. You don't say much, but you observe, okay? You have a, a lot of intuition. Male or female does not matter. Hmm. It could be in the reverse where somebody was talking shit about you, giving up, giving some f false counsel, poor counsel, um, didn't use their intuition where a situation was concerned, or they could have been doing some magic or talking too much. Let's see. Bottom of the deck, confidence. Somebody, this was in reverse. Um, 42 is 6. It's the lovers in tarot. So you, you parted ways with some sort of karmic, karmic relationship. It was a false contract or in breach of contract. Whatever it was, it was all one-sided. Um, the lovers in reverse and the upright doesn't matter somebody's feelings are going to get hurt okay no matter what you decide to do somebody's lacking confidence or they don't like your confidence take it for whatever it is if it's a karmic relationship or a karmic contract of some sort <clears throat> you're dealing with con artists or something maybe yeah they can't deceive you okay 38 they, they, 38 is 11 in tarot and that's justice in reverse. So it could have been a miscarriage of justice and or a breaking of the law. It could have been amoral or criminal or both. Uh, there's an imbalance here that was cr created. And 13 in reverse is death in reverse. So somebody doesn't want to change. They can't change something. They can't change a contract. It might be this inheritance thing again. Okay. Um, whatever they summoned, they're, they're not liking that. They don't want to be summoned to court or you, I don't know, they could have changed your address and you're supposed to be summoned to court and you didn't get the summons. They could have said you summoned something that you're doing magic <laughs> or they're regretting the summons. They summoned something they, they're not happy about. Um, they can't overcome the way you did. They kept doing something over and over and over again. They didn't want to stop. They don't want to change. They can't overcome. It's a permanent profound ending. So success is here. Wow. Has something to do with your success. Congratulations. Thirty nine is twelve. They were you were dealing with a time waster. Somebody doesn't want to let go. They try to sacrifice you, and it's for me something something. It's in the reverse. So whatever they did, it's come back onto them. Okay, their deceits being seen for all to see. You have success. They're trying to stall your success. I get it. They caused a lot of chaos. Look at this complicated eleven justice. I don't, they're in reverse now, okay? So they're hiding and cloaking a lot. That's a hermit in reverse. They don't want to be seen. They're doing stuff in the dark. They wanted to cause chaos in your world, but it's not in your world. It's in theirs. And they're trying to hide the fact that it's come back on them. Yeah, it's complicated for sure. 11 is justice. You're getting your justice. Congratulations. Yeah, you you walled them out. They stonewalled you, whoever this is, okay? Three, you're, you could be a divine feminine. Yes, you could be a masculine in this energy, okay? just means that you're creative and artistic. You have a great deal of love to give. You're a humanitarian a philosoph uh, philosopher. Could be a philosopher, but a philanthropist. You're divinely protected as well. It could be a pregnancy. It could be a mother. It could be a mother. It could be... So somebody's very rigid, okay, in their way of thinking. They threw these rocks and you built a kingdom, I heard. Wow. And you're on the other side where the, side, where the light is. They're not. They're blocked from you or they're trying to block you. They're under d divine judgment. Okay? There's a lot of temptation going on. Could have been some, you know, magic using liquids, if you know what I'm saying. Fulfillment. They're under judgment. They have to take accountability. A decision's been made. This is awareness. They have to take accountability for something. It boils down to it, too. You're highly intuitive. 
you have a direct connection with source you're balanced between your dark and light masculine and feminine energies like i said you don't say much but they were doing some blood magic and now the truth is out okay high priest or high priestess uh this is energy manipulation they broke the law or something like this a false contract in breach of contract gave out some poor advice that's for sure didn't listen to advice don't believe in they have no faith they don't believe in um traditional values and or relationships they have no values they're getting yeah they're getting they're getting uh, found out for whatever it is they were doing congratulations that's weird i don't normally take them in the up in the reverse okay so spirits on it today they're leading the way. I have nothing to do with it. I'm just reading the cards. So we have the warrior, too. So they're using me as a vessel today, as usual. Um, two, warrior. You're a warrior. Congratulations. You went through a lot. Okay. Threatening. This came out in the first read today. Tim intimidating, threatened, and bothered. Wow. They, they're threatening somebody to keep quiet about their secrets. Clout hungry. Says anything, does anything, makes shit up and dramatic. Wow. Impersonator. They're trying to be you. Wants to be you. Acts like, dresses like, looks like, and copies you. They're heading towards bankruptcy. Or they're emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and financially bankrupt. Screenshot. Getting evidence, proof, and facts. Someone's creeping. Dodging bullets, blocking negativity, escaping crazy people protected by haters. Girl fight. It might have something to do with the re first read. I'm not sure. Arguments, physical fight at war and competing. They want to compete. They want you to fight and compete for them or with them. Wasting time. Stuck. No changes. Limited. They're so Maybe they're trying to restrict your work. Restrict your money somehow. Dirty offer. So somebody did a dirty offer. Talking shit about you. They wanted to pay other people to talk shit about you. Fishing for comments. It, if if you have any kind of platform of any kind, watch your comment section. Okay, they're trying to, to they're trying to get you to go off on them. Uh, they're energy harvesting that way. Okay, or they're fishing for compliments from you, or they're accusing you of that. I don't know. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just shuffle this a little bit more. It seems like the same cards are coming out. Spirit, please clear all previous energy from these cards what else can you tell me no facts there's never never has the facts makes shit up and lies so somebody's been lying about you and they're crying over you okay sad hurt and upset and they're getting some bad karma that's why and you're too busy winning to notice that somebody's into you good chemistry great vibes and positive they're missing your great chemistry and your your vibes they caught a case Sexual infection, sexual disease, rash. So, because you're winning, and I hate to say winning, but you're doing well in life. They're feeling bad. Some of you might have left, or so, it doesn't have to be, but they could have accused you of having an STD and you don't, because you're shining, and they, they want to take your shine away. Your light irritates their demons. Uh, kissing ass. They're trying to get your attention. They want you in, in they want to try to get into your head. They're stuffed. They're stuffed. You, you're busy renting space in their head, overthinking, stressing, overanalyzing. Bad reputation. They want, they're trying to give you a bad rap. Okay, so move in silence. It's a spiritual hater. Hates on your spirituality, light, magic, and power. And they want you to give them money. And they're grid, grudge holder. Too bad. Same shit, different day. It's always the same, right? They're trying to force something. Forces things on you. Forces their way. Uses force to get what they want. Well, bully, bully. You're not going to get it, okay? Be careful this person if you know who they are. Maybe you don't even know who they are. They're just... You know what I mean? I just picked up, uh, I just heard mental illness here, okay? And I'm not putting people down with mental illness, but they can sometimes be dangerous, so be careful. You know what I mean? We have the warrior number two, threatening. Why is this here, please? Help me understand where we're going. Gain, because you're gaining something. Cultivation, profit, and conclusion. So this is the end of this, okay? Because they they know you you got them in the crosshairs. They know spirit has them in the crosshairs. Pardon me. They know that they're coming into some not nasty stuff that they've put out. They projected stuff out and they're getting it back. Okay, so you're very blessed. You are a blessing in this person's life possibly, and they sh they shadow over you. Fulfillment, well-being, enlightenment. 
They're cloud hungry. They want to ride your coattails. Yeah, you had you set goals and you smashed it. Okay, could be somebody that goes by that name. Smash. Purpose, expectation, destination. You're getting to where you you need to be. Robbery, exploitation, in caution and unfairness. They're trying to exploit you, in one way or another. They're robbing you blind. They want to apologize for all they've done. Guilt, confession, forgiveness. So somebody's going to confess something to you. Okay, you have a lot of gifts. They might come with a gift. Be beware. Okay. Souvenir promotion, delight. Let me promote you for a gift. Give me a gift. I'll promote you. Somebody's furious here. You do have spiritual gifts, by the way. Offense, madness, unpleasantness. They're furious. Because you're coming into a higher level soulmate connection. Eternity, consistency, and soulmate. And this is a nightmare for them. Suffering, dark persecution. They try to persecute you. Them and their friends, their coven, their group, their cult. They're causing conflict or trying to in your life, and they're going to be forced to stop because you are good news. You're getting good news. They're trying to stop this good news from coming to you, or you are good news. And they're trying to stop you from being seen. Somebody's wearing a mask. You're ready, though. You're ready. You're, you're totally poised. You're relaxed. You're Yeah, and they're going to be heading towards homeless. They could have said you were homeless. This could be the inheritance thing where they changed your address. They don't know where you are. You're homeless. You're a whore. You're a drug addict. You're a drug fiend. You're into vice. You know what I mean? Trying to disgrace you. You have STDs. You're dead. It could be any of those things. <clears throat> and we have lightning. Sudden change. Shocking news. Surprise epiphany. Upheaval and transformation. They're shocked that you've gained. You, you know what I mean? You've gotten so far in life. It's going to happen quick. It's going to be shocking. Healthy choices. And that's what you made. You made healthy choices. And they're not part of your healthy choice. So making healthy choices in loving in life, self-love, self-care, and being happier. Congratulations. You're at peace. Key, keys on a ring. Many options. Decision. Unconventional. String along. One night stance. <laughs> so they have multiple options that you're dealing with. Or they claim that you were one of their options. I don't know. Healing heart. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. It's a karmic that you were dealing with, okay? Karmic relationship. They're only meant to be in our wor world for a short period of time to help us to learn a lesson and then elevate and then move on, okay? So the longer you're with a karmic, the more difficult your life becomes, okay? More entangled. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment lessons, letting go and loving you. And mirror. Mirroring each other, self-image relationships reflect our wounds and introspection. So you went within. They're trying to mirror you, trying to doppelgang you. Yes, well, that's just too bad. You are who you are, and they are who they are. We're supposed to be authentic, originals, not like one another, okay? Why give yourself away like that? Why Why would you want to live somebody else's fucking life and not live your own? I don't get that, okay? So karmics, whoever is in this situation, stop trying to be somebody you're not. Be yourself, okay? You'll be much happier. Things will go smoother in your life, and you'll see how how far you elevate. You know what I mean? So we have the warrior number two. Threatening. They want to keep you quiet. They want to keep someone quiet. Gain. Enlightening. It's going to be a shock here. Empty victory. Look at that. I flipped over. This is all out of jealousy, ego, pettiness, and cruelty. And they're... Whoever was in on this with this person has taken on some losses, reckless, careless, foolish, no new beginnings. Somebody was taken in. They were naive, went along with the scheme, and they're losing. Okay, they're losing money, I don't know, respect, health, relationships. I don't know what this is. Our home, obviously, somebody's going to be homeless. They could have stolen a home, property. Could have been um, mortgage fraud. ID fraud. It could, be, it could be this inheritance. I haven't seen it yet, but you never know. So he's cloud hungry. The one ride your coat coattails. <coughs> Pardon me. What's the message here, my spirit? I was hearing that uh, song. I can't remember who sings it. Um, there's ain't, there ain't no sunshine when she's gone. So somebody's gone. The sunshine's gone. You carried the light. Now they're in the complete darkness. Yeah, they, they were 
abusive here. They reckless. They brought others into danger. They could have a hair trigger temper. Could have been, could have committed a crime against you, or so it could be family towards your kids. Caused a lot of trauma. Trauma bonding. Given out some false information about you. There's they somebody that lives in the past. And they can't get over the past. Listen, get some therapy, okay? You'll be much better for it. You'll feel much better. You'll feel better about yourself, okay? Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> yeah, not happy. Sun in the reverse. Doing stuff in the dark. No truth, no clarity. You could be sick at this moment mentally, physically, spiritually. They don't want to be seen, detected. I heard something was detected. Okay, whatever that is. They're watching. Yeah, somebody's under surveillance, possibly detected. Watching online, something online. You see this person's watching what's in front of them. Who's watching them, though? Somebody's stepping on other people. If you see that rock, it's a, it's a head. They're stepping on somebody to get where they want to go. They want to keep you small, I heard. You could have an online presence, but I think this is uh, also under surveillance. They're jealous, okay? Very jealous. Ooh, investigating an ending here. It could be not something they tried to unalive you. They were talking about that online, trying to stop something in your life. This is the white rose represents a baptism by fire, okay? Purifying. They need to be purified here. Something's coming to an end. It's change. It's you could be the um, phoenix rising here. Overcoming. Congratulations. A great deal of strength. Could have been some force here. They're trying to keep somebody quiet. Like I said, they're threatening somebody. Somebody's got a huge ego. They think they have a lot of power. Lust, maybe. You could be the king of the castle or queen of the castle. <laughs> and now they want to be the king or queen of the castle. Or maybe they were at one point. Maybe they're fault. I don't know, maybe because of bad practices or bad, I don't know, because of lustful ways in their ego, they're falling, okay? Like a handful of balls. <laughs> Can you see that? It's a handful of balls. <laughs> okay. Oh, look. It's a pair of legs wrapping around this person. So somebody was carrying somebody. I don't know what this is. It looks like legs. It's not hands. That's weird. Can you see that? It's a pair of legs. Somebody's piggybacking off of someone else. Damn. Now, this is definite change here. Somebody with some sort of a ruler or leader, they're getting they're getting mowed down, okay? Things are changing for this ruler or this leader, who's somebody who put themselves at the top of the hell here, okay? Because your ships are coming in. They're right there in the background. You're going to be celebrating, okay? This could be a twin flame. This could be a marriage, a commitment, a home. I, I was picking up mortgage homes or property or something. It could be your family. Yeah, you released it. Something's being released. You're not bound. You're not tied. You're not restricted. You're stable and you're secure. And now people are seeing through the illusions. All that glitters is not gold. Seven of Cups in reverse, right? It was all confusion. It's dissipating now. Release, release, release. Somebody's running out of options. They don't have a choice. Something's going to be public here. You could be out in the public eye. You could be famous. You don't have to be. This is victory, success, reward, recognition. You are garnering some sort of attention, okay? Somebody wants to be the best. I want to be the leader. Something like that. Somebody's got a huge ego. Maybe it's somebody you were with in a relationship or working with, and you made them look good. You brought in the bacon. You know, you're the thoughts or, or the... The, the steam in the engine type of thing, you know, the, the gas in the gas tank that l propelled something forward that was very good, that made them look good, whether it's a relationship, a business, a family. But then when you let them go, it all went to, you know what I mean? You were the one carrying them. Maybe it's your light. I don't know. We'll see. So obviously you're a warrior. It's your ideas and your intuition. It's, it's something you're... People are seeing it for what it is, yeah. You stood your ground or you're standing your ground, okay? This is divine protection as well. 7-7. Seven, seven. The truth, they, they were coming for you for some reason, okay? You saw, you have a, you're highly, you're elevated, okay? Your perception is higher. You see it for what it is. You have the advantage. 
and people are angry now. They maybe started some sort of a hate campaign against you, a crusade, and you had to defend yourself. You don't want to hurt these people because you see it for what it is, but you will defend yourself. Yeah, there's a lot of lies and illusions. So they're coming after this person that lied about you. Okay, watch, 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 okay? He's got something sharp in his hand coming towards this crab. You have a hard shell. Maybe you have, you know, you had to thicken your skin a bit because they were coming at you. Maybe it's online. A lot of haters, whatever. There's a lot of lies and illusions. They were working against you behind your back. Somebody was re responsible for that. They were sticking knives in your back, right? You got a lot of two-faced people in your energy. That's what I'm picking up. You see pillars here? The birds are going from one pillar to the next, right? Crossing over. So, oh yeah, I love you one minute, and then the next minute they're talking to the to your hater or the one that's coming after you. Oh yeah, you know what they said? Yeah, 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 right? Yeah, they try to devalue you, wanting power and control over you. This is somebody who's very karmic as a doppelganger, trying to be you. But they can't, their star's not rising, Okay. They don't have spiritual protection. They're not on their north node. You are. Okay, thank you, spirit. They're not as blessed as you with these gifts. They don't have these gifts. They don't believe. They have no faith. Yeah, it's all a scam. So if you're, the, you know, obviously it's spirituality. We saw that in the cards. They, they're a spiritual hater. They don't have the, the, the skills and or the, the spiritual gifts that you have and the protection. They're all full of shit here. They could have been doing some spell work. And it's a liar. They're jealous of you. They're vindictive. They're vile. They're hateful. It's a hater. Okay? So they're making up shit about you, getting people to come and attack you if you're online or any, whatever, wherever you're working. Because you're independent, you go your own way, you're bold, you're beautiful, or handsome, you're attractive, you're alluring, you're a leader. Um, you're not afraid, you have no fear, because you know that the divine is backing you. You could have a platform of some sort, but you're also very confident. And you're going to tell this person, male or female, about themselves should they try. You know, they're greedy and they're selfish and they're jealous. They want it. They want you to appear unstable. They want to affect your money. This is somebody with maybe some authority of some sort. This is breach of uh, breach. This is abuse of authority and power. They're very. It's a bully. They're trying to bully you, giving out false information about you. Okay, about your past. Hey. When you were 20 years old, if you're anything like me, you went out and party, okay? You dated a lot because you didn't want it. You're too young to settle. You, you had fun. You lived your life. You had nothing. You didn't have children or relationships or anything holding you back. So when you were 20, just say you're in your 50s like me. They're still saying that you're like that. I give it up. Give it up. No, you weren't serious about life. Why would you be serious about life back then? You're in your 20s. 20, 21. Give it a break. Yeah. Yeah, you're very balanced here. You're a very generous soul. Not just in money, but in spirit, okay? You help a lot of people. And they're trying to be you. They can't. You know, that's the type of person just reminds me of somebody I know. They give you something, and they make it look like a charity, but hey, look, 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 I'm giving this person this money. Or I'm helping them. Look, look, look. And you won't hear the end of it for 30 years. Yeah, you're an angel. Earth angel. You're very balanced. You're a healer. You divinely guided it and, and protected as well. You transmute their... Uh, I just heard ignorance. You transmute their darkness, no problem. You've turned your back on this person. They want to give and receive with you. But you've turned your back on them. You're moving on without them. You're quite balanced. This person's not balanced. And they shouldn't take it out on you. Okay, we all grow at different paces. But the, this person's obviously very, very jealous of you. They do stuff behind your back when you're not looking. Yeah, got you in a third-party situation. Or this is a contract. You ascended. They didn't. There's a lot of confusion that they tried, okay? You could be going towards a higher-level soulmate connection, and they're trying to confuse you. Could be... Um, a reconciliation of some sort. Because you, you're going towards somebody that's equally yoked, okay? Higher level soulmate. You're using your higher wisdom here. You made the right decision so far. You let go of someone. They're not your higher level. They put you in a third party situation or this is the third party. They were jealous of you, wanting to be you. They hate you, but they want to be you. I don't get it. You let them go. They can't block your way any longer. They wanted a life of luxury off your back. Nine. 
nine nine if this makes sense if this resonates okay they want you to look unstable they're trying to affect your money they can't block your money okay they're getting hit hard at them blocking your money is just blocking theirs so whatever they're doing to you is going to be happening to them you are protected you are on your north node anybody that comes up against you whatever they try on you will happen to them instantly or it's going to seem instantly, okay? They're very codependent and clingy. They're very unstable and insecure. Jealous, jealous, jealous. They're very, very greedy and selfish. You could have been... He let this person go because they were never single. It could be a relationship. They were never single. Even if they could have been in another relationship, like committed relationship. If not, they, they were picking up people left, right, and center. So they were never single. Yeah, some of you... You take back your power. Something's a turtle here. Something's slowing down for them. Somebody with power, or so they think. Let's see which way it goes. It could be you that you boss. You stepped into your power, or they're pretending to. I don't know. Or they're going to be losing power. Take it. This could be a father figure, a leader, a boss. It could be a female and emperor energy as well. So we have nine of wands in reverse, nine of pentacles in reverse. Why is it? Where is this going, please? Oh, it's too many. Nine of Wands in reverse, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Where's this going, please, Spirit? Help me understand. Yeah, they're watching you from a distance. You've made some plans. You're moving forward, possibly. They could be watching you online. Oh, boy. So somebody that is jealous of you, they're looking pretty down. This is a fucking fool. This is a clown. They know that some other people are watching you. It could be your higher level soulmate. This could be an ex or an, an ex is current. This could be your ex. I don't know. Take it for whatever it is. And I know you don't want your ex back. I, I get it. Some people do. So let's just leave it at that. They're making a decision. They're making plans to come towards you. I'm picking up as your ex karmic relationship knows that a higher level soulmate's coming towards you. And they're looking really clownish right now for all the bullshit they said about you. They're being exposed. Truth and clarity. Yep. Illumination. Gathering some information. You could be a, a tarot reader. You could be a spiritualist. It doesn't matter. This is divination. Maybe they are using divination to find out the truth. Maybe that's how they found out the truth. They want a new beginning here. This is. They have to take it slow, whoever this is. You started something new. Very practical. They want to pay for something. Yeah, they paid for somebody to lie about you. So the truth is no. They paid people to lie about you. There we go. Player energy said that you were player energy. You're in and out of relationships. Yeah, I don't think this is the player you were dealing with. Whatever they accused you of is what they did, okay? They did something too quickly. Thinking with their loins, they could have said you gave me an STD. No, no, no. They got the STD on their own. Thank you. Okay? Yeah, that's a poser or a player. Definite player energy, bit off more than they can chew, huge ego, very arrogant, very envious of you, a coward. They are not a leader, they're a follower, but the person that's coming towards you, your higher level soulmate connection, you're both leaders, warriors, they can never be you. So this could be your ex competing with your future one and or competing with you. This is a coward. They don't do the noble thing. They have no morals, ethics, and or honor. Yeah, they're scared now. They have no integrity. Okay, they can't control you. They try to control everybody, but they can't control themselves. They're trying to keep somebody quiet here. There's threats here. Yeah, they're heartbroken. They want you to keep quiet about how they broke your heart. Oh, so you're being seen somewhere. You might have a channel. They don't want you talking about how they hurt your heart and what they did to you. They're looking really bad now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. How they cheated on you. They were, they were only out. Yeah, they're, they're poor of heart and soul and spirit here. They're unstable. They, they really treated you poorly. They tried to say that you, you're always broke. You put them in debt. They tried putting you in debt. Oh, boy, yeah. They're a, po they're a player. Yeah, player. Play acting, trying to be you, and it's a, an impersonation. They, they take credit for your work, ideas, and achievements. This is somebody that's very confrontational, argumentative. They think this shit don't stink. They don't want to put the work in, but they want the clout. Yeah, they want the money. It's not your work. So if they're stealing your work, yeah, they're this person's an, an opportunist, or they tried to say you were, okay? Wow. They're trying to hold somebody back from giving you an offer. Starting something new. Somebody has a crush on you. 
they see that you're innocent of anything they said. They said you were a criminal. They said that you're a hot-headed. No, it's the other the other person that was saying this. Male or female, I don't know. Place of, it could be your ex. It could be their ex. It could be anybody, okay? So let's just... It's very confusing. <laughs> Empty victory. They're trying to... They paid people to try to disgrace you and embarrass you. They had a grudge against you because you're stable and secure after you left them. Sounds like a narc. Yeah. This is greed. Materialism. This is jealousy. A bully. Now they're worried and concerned. Well, yeah. Because they're getting some karma for everything they've done and said. Okay? Yeah, they were lying, cheating, and or stealing. Very dishonorable. Shady, shady, shady. And now word's getting around here. Something's happening quickly. They are trying to slow you down. Somebody's coming in with an offer. They're trying to slow you down. That reminds me of this card. There's always reasons why Spirit wants me to pick certain decks. Okay? They're lobbing things towards you. You're the angel, the earth angel. So there's eight wands coming towards you. All these lies about you. Thinking they can destroy you with these lies. Okay? All you need is one truth to destroy them. And they fucking know it. And that's what you're doing. And that's why they want to keep you quiet. They're trying to threaten you to stay quiet. Because people are finding out exactly what this person's about. And I told you, it's a narcissist. A lying sack of shit. This is putting on an act. They have addictions here. This is not wish fulfillment falling from grace. We're going to leave it there. I like that ending. They're trying to be you. Okay? This person's a slob. Oh, okay. This person's very, very greedy. They would never share this plate of cookies with these two. It's always the man in the middle. The monkey in the middle. They always try to get in the middle of somebody. Or they, if there's a good relationship, whether it's love, whether it's family, whether it's friends, they're always inserting themselves in it. And it's always self-serving. If you notice, she's not sharing that plate of cookies with the other two. They don't want you going towards your wish fulfillment. That's why they lied. Or they don't want this other person coming towards you. You are their wish fulfillment, and that's why they're lying to this other person. It's all coming out. So you're a warrior. Divine. Uh, divine. You're very divine, yes, but this is a high priestess. Okay, they were saying a lot of lies, a lot of secrecy. You don't say much, but you observe. You're highly intuitive as well. Both male, female, doesn't matter, okay? Um, in the reverse, they could have been doing some magic or saying you were involved with magic, and blah, blah, blah. Shit talking you for sure, okay? Yep, they have no confidence. They hate your confidence. As a confidence man or woman that you're dealing with, they're karmic. You par parted ways because they tried to scam you. Whatever relationship wa this was, it was a false contract, and they're getting some karma, okay? So now they're trying to threaten you to keep you quiet, intimidating, threaten. Uh, they're very bothered. They're trying to bother you because this person was always cloud hungry, says anything, does anything, makes shit up and dramatic, okay? And they're getting found out. And uh, all of this is their game, what they can gain from people, from the situations. But you're on the rise, okay? And they don't like it. Cultivation. Maybe they're involved in some sort of cultivation, if you know what I mean. D-R-U-G-S. Profit. It's all about profit with this person. Conclusion. This is coming to an end here. Okay. They jump to conclusions about how you made your money. Oh, you were hooking. You're selling stuff that you shouldn't be selling. No, no, it's them. Okay. You're a blessing. Fulfillment. Well-being. Enlightenment. Okay. You're very enlightened. You could be an ascended master. Isn't this uh, Ganesh? Um, you were a blessing to this person. Oh, they, lo they looked at you like a paycheck. Yeah. Healthy choices. Where's the other one? Oh, this is gonna happen. It's gonna happen swiftly. It's gonna be a shock to them. A, I take this lightning as the tower. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. Could be an end of a person. Transformation. We did see the uh, death card there, and or they tried to do this to you, and or this is a change here. Okay, you're on the rise. Healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self love, self care, and being happier. You're much happier without them. It is an, a narcissist. How dare you leave a narcissist, right? They leave you. And uh, before they leave you, well, they 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 start to devaluing you. A, a smear campaign, right? And because they never got a chance to do it, they did it after you left, behind your back. And now you're finding out the truth. You're going to be taking them maybe to court to sue them and or. No, I'm not so happy, but these people need to be taught a lesson. Uh, what deck? Okay, thank you. And or they might be getting arrested for threatening you. Or other things, okay? They could have been stealing money from you, stealing your work, caught maybe putting you in a line of danger, okay? They could have gotten some very nefarious people coming after you trying to take your life, whether it's through magic, whether it's 
you know, in 3D, physical, okay? Trying to stop your work, stop your money, take everything away from you. But there's definitely some sort of theft involved as well, some sort of mortgage fraud or ID fraud. Whatever this is, this person's going down for it. Uh, 44, you're divided. You could be an earth angel. The angels are helping you. They're overthinking now. They want you thinking about them. Maybe they're sending some magic towards you. But somebody's thinking about you. I think this higher level soulmate there is now making sense, okay? You're almost where you need to be. It could be somebody on a platform. You, them, I don't know. You, you're, you're bossing up here, okay? It's, it's eight. So what goes around comes back around. Remember that. Yep, chaos and conflict. That's all they wanted to start. 33, 44, 33. So you got angels and ascended masters. You could both be angels and ascended masters. I don't know. Master numbers here, okay? Um, somebody was wearing... They were trying to show... They were wearing a mask. Put it this way, okay? They were presenting themselves as one way, as a giraffe, but underneath, no. Were they a giraffe? No. People are seeing the truth here. Chaos and conflict. That's all they're good for. Now they have to face what they put out. They're getting it right back. They are no, they're not blessed, okay? 22. 44, 33, 22. So their life is descending quickly, and it's spirit doing it. I can't believe it. They're not on their north node. You are. They were trying to take you off your path, but the ascended masters and the angels took care of them, or they are taking care of them. Can you believe this? Justice, 11. 44, 33, 22, 11. By the book. Somebody was playing follow a leader. They were listening to people talk about you, gossip about you, and they just fell in. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Clowns. That's a clown face, right? This is your justice. They were playing checkers. You were playing chess. You can see the, the checkerboard here. You're very balanced between your dark and light. And elephants never forget. They are majestic animals here, okay? Could be your family. It looks like a family of elephants. 26. Wow. Happy, happy, congratulations. 26 is 8. You had integrity, loyalty, and honesty. And you have a lot of courage and resilience and strength. It's beautiful. You have every reason to be proud of yourself, okay? You are a star. You're your father's star. Your most high star. There's a promise here. He promised to take care of you. I remember he said to me, just be obedient. I will take care of everything. So... Obviously, that's what it's... I got goosebumps. It's reminding me of this. When he promises you something, you better believe he's going to deliver. Okay? Or this is a promise, a covenant between you and your higher level soulmate. And it's coming true now. Okay? It's beautiful. 44. I got goosebumps. I'm so happy for you. Thinker. Strategy. Being analytical and logical. The ability to reason and strategize is the focus now. Take things at face value and follow the logical path. Your calculations will prove to be correct, for in this moment there is no deeper meaning than what is obvious. So, yeah, it's so obvious. Maybe you didn't want to face the truth. Maybe you didn't, you know, you were ignoring it. They're trying to take your focus off of it. <coughs> Pardon me. This is incense. It's getting my lungs going. But, yeah, it is what, take it for whatever it is, Okay. Things are exactly as they seem. You have all the information you need. Keep it simple and you will win the game of life you're playing right now. 33. I love spirit. I love it when they bring all the cards together like this. Chaos and conflict. Disarray. Being at cross purposes with another. The tension of opposites. The value of chaos before order. Opposing forces come together to create a turbulent atmosphere. Now, they could have had a, um, a coven, a cult, and or secret society, members of these situations, these organizations coming after you. And I'm not putting them all down at all. I'm just saying in wherever you are, you have your bad apples, okay? But you have ascended. Oppo um, it's the value of chaos before order. Opposing forces come together to create a turbulent atmosphere, but consider the value of chaos that serves you well as you become unmoored by it. Scattered to the winds, you leave behind the parts of yourself you no longer need and disperse seeds to reinvent yourself anew. Although the conflict appears to, be, to exist externally, its essence is also internal, projected outward and causing disarray. You may find yourself at cross purposes with someone else, facing a storm you feel you can't control. Yet every storm passes and chaos leads to a reordering of things. Conflict provides a way to see more than one side of a situation. 
Look upon this as just a moment in time when you may need to take shelter and step away from the fray. Don't be too eager to fight. This is a time to understand rather than to be understood. So they want you. They want to trigger you. Don't fall for it, okay? They don't want you to be blessed. They're trying to take away your blessings. They're trying to compromise you. Don't fall for it, okay? They're nothing but assholes, okay? That's, let people see what they are. In the reverse protection message, uh, humility is called for now as grace is an unearned gift. You didn't gain this by your own desires or actions. So they gained something off of you that wasn't theirs, okay? To be who you need to be, you can no longer be, do what you did. In fact, you may have hit rock bottom, and what is required now is nothing less than total surrender. Then you will be blessed. 11, by the book. They want your blessings, I think. They want your life, their, your destiny. They can't. They can't do that. Where in their fucking sick minds do they think they can do this? Essential meanings by the book. Abiding by social rules, conformity, respecting culture, cultural or family customs and universal laws. They didn't respect any universal laws at all. Or 3D laws, from what I can gather. Uh, the universe works within a structure of divine laws and principles that provides a framework for human experience and evolution. The law of abundance, the law of prayer, the law of karma, the law of attraction, the law of thought, the law of compensation, and the law of nature are only a few that are known. These principles create perfect order and operate with a kind of precision beyond human understanding. Even revolution has its place in universal law. Human beings, in turn, have their own laws and customs that vary from culture to culture and family to family. Laws keep social order and govern behavior, reflecting an instinctive understanding that harmony is important. This is a time to learn these laws and conform to them rather than being the rebel and flouting them. When this card appears, submit to structure and follow the rules, even if they seem to make no sense. Release resistance for universal laws will correct any disharmony. Open your eyes to those universal laws, and it will be easier to go by the book at this time. So somebody broke universal laws, okay? They went against spiritual laws, either by spying on you through divination, either by doing magic, and I think it's all of it, okay? Um, going up against somebody that's in, in on their north node in service to the divine, trying to get them off their path. How What egos? They're now getting what they deserve, okay? They're going to get clap back. Let's get the angels on that, okay? Because we do have all master numbers, 44, 33, 22, and 11. Dang. I love spirit, how they work. Angels, what's a parting message here for everybody? What's a parting message for the collective? How would you like this to end? Six cups, you're innocent. Something to do with your family and or your past somebody wanting to reconcile oh no okay it's a past life soulmate so it could be somebody you know okay and i don't want to hear it in the comment section i don't want the mac i get it okay some people do i don't i don't care do what do whatever you want to do but it could also be a past life soulmate you you haven't met in this lifetime yet okay so it's 45 finding out going in within doing that soul work finding out that you're innocent all along of whatever they were saying um, an investigation, they were hiding and cloaking so much. God who stirs all men, motivation, lifts up those who are fallen and humiliated. They try to humiliate you, okay? The sun, you're being exposed, it's illumination. You're happy, healthy, wealthy, and wise, okay? This is going to be something very, very ha happy, okay? Healing. Me Mehiel, 64, it's the wheel of fortune, it's destined, okay? It's, it's faded. The gold diggers, cloud chasers, it's change, it's divine timing, and it's now the vivifying God, Restoration of life protection from adversaries, rabies, and wild beasts. Page of Cups. You're innocent. Somebody has a crush on you. New beginnings. Bossing up. Taking back your power for this emperor. You could be this emperor or an emperor is coming towards you, okay? Somebody was very corrupt. They're jealous. They want a power and control over you. Divine comfort. God who rejoices. Divine comfort. Gives consolation and protection from one's enemies. You are very protected. Nine of Wands. We got this in the last couple of reads. Or the last one or the last first one. Nine of Wands. You overcame, persevered, just like you were supposed to. Okay? You put up some fierce boundaries. Ha ha see ya. 51. You made the right choices and you ascended. This is the lovers. <coughs> Somebody put you in a third party situation. It's a contract or there's a new contract coming in with your higher level soulmate. You're both going to be crowned. Universal medicine. Okay? God, the impenetrable secret. They want to know your secrets. How you know what you know. Well, you have a direct connection with God. So... 
there, okay? Universal medicine, elevation of the soul and the revelation of mysteries. <coughs> Pardon me. The devil's behind it, okay? They're toxic. They're karmic. They have codependency issues, whether it's drugs, can't be alone, sex, whatever. Ego. They wanted you bound to them so they can maybe profit off of your energy. Seduction and downfall using sex. They said they had sex with you. I don't know. Communicates with the dead. Uh, uh, uh. Teaches the occult and magic. You overcame every damn spell. Everything they sent your way, whatever they conjured, you overcame it all. Congratulations. Ace of Wands, new beginnings here. You have the authority over these, this idiot here, okay? <laughs> You're divine feminine. You're being crowned. Peace, Lily, okay? Reminds of Easter, so uh, maybe Jesus is working very, very closely with you. The patient god, Omael, Ace of Wands. Isn't that the angel that is the bridge between the divine and the person hearing the messages from the divine. I don't know. I can't remember how. I'll have to look that back up again. Fertility, multiplicity, protects against despair and helps one be patient. You're being crowned. Congratulations. You have a lot of peace. You're, gonna, you're coming into a very peaceful period in your life or you've been at peace. They, they can't rattle you. Okay? It depends. You've, what's that say? You're, you're, you put in the work. Okay? This is self-mastery. You're successful. Do your work. You're not. They can't get you off your square. So 31, you're bossed up. It's a force. It, it's an emperor. Maybe you're going to wind up working with your higher level soulmate and, or in a relationship. I don't know. Friendship. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. You're going to a happier place. Okay. Somebody's coming towards you or you're going towards them. And it's true love. Okay. It is true love. King of Swords. Somebody. Hmm. I don't want to say it. Look. This is your, your soulmate. Past life soulmate. Truth and clarity. This, he, this could be somebody that works in justice, an authority figure of some sort, or, or military, bringing you some clarity. Some you're gonna be extremely happy in this relationship. It's somebody with very mature, experienced. They speak nothing but the truth. A warrior just like you, Ace of Cups. They're, it's deep love. Okay, the King, God, the King of Heaven, Six of Swords. Yeah, you're going to your happier place here. You could be traveling and or moving with this person, working with this person, traveling. So congratulations. And you're going towards fortune and fame fulfills any request. Congrats. God who supports the universe. And this is justice for you. And you're a high priestess. You're both uh, highly intuitive, okay? 44, again, the angels. God, the eternal lasting. Success, protection for magistrates. So they're trying to do something to you, okay? In court of law. It might have something to do with this inheritance, but I think that's not the focus here. The, what's the focus here is you elevating and you coming into contact with this person that's meant to be in your world because uh, there's a lot of people that got involved, but this is the worst one that was doing the worst of the magic and the shit talking, getting other people, paying other people to do the same to you. Take it for whatever it is. They're coming into their own little comeuppance here, okay? Uh, whatever... They can't be blessed like you, okay? It's not going to be smooth sailing. See how you're sailing smoothly through life. You're on your north node. <laughs> uh, they can never be on their north node. Um, not everybody is chosen. Not everybody heeds the call when they are called, okay? You have to, this person maybe was called at one point. Distorted masculine, feminine, and or a false flame. Um, or just some sort of karmic soulmate. If they were called, maybe they didn't answer the call. And that's up to them. That's their tough shit, okay? It is what it is, but congratulations for whoever this is. I hope you like the read. Until next time, take care.